Hey fruit lovers, how are the figs doing? Well, this is the um, this is the uh, purple fig, the uh, Pialette de Bordeaux. And as you can see, originally it was like one long stem, but it's got lots of new bits coming out the bottom and it keeps giving me fruit. Uh, it was giving me a few, some larger ones when it was in the summertime. And now it's giving me these little, uh, smaller ones but they are very tasty very tasty uh this over here was a um ishia fig supposed to be ishia green fig but this is giving me this has been giving me loads of uh, fruit too it's lost its uh lost its leaves because it was um sorry lost its leaves because it was got too wet but it's still doing fine Here's another one that lost its leaves, uh, but it's coming back. This is the um, brown turkey. I haven't had any fruit from this yet. This one's getting established. This one's one of the Italian honeys, got a bit too wet. Um, but the, you know, these ones have been giving me fruit all year and look, it's got more fruit coming there. So it just doesn't like the wet conditions. Like the wet, so I may dig this up and um, mound it. That's probably what I'll do put it on a mound or put it somewhere a bit drier. Yeah, it's hard to tell uh, all the differences, is it, with these fruit? But the, this is another green Ischia that's doing pretty good, pretty well. And um, I just wait for those fruit to get really ripe. Then they get really tasty. Here's another green ischia, and um, looks very healthy, doesn't it? This one, this one's a bit drier conditions, so it uh, fared a bit better. And um, because it's not having to fight against all that wetness, it's putting more goodness into the fruit. And these will get, uh, these will turn sort of golden, then they turn brown, and I'll wait for them to get really. I wait for them to start drooping down and get really, um, really brown and almost uh, falling off the, off, just about to fall off the tree, and then they taste gorgeous. I got some more figs around here that um, I kept them a bit in the bit of the shade of the uh, other trees during the summer, but they won't mind being in the shade during the winter either. But who knows? I might. Because these keep fruiting all the time, I think I'm going to move them into a sunnier, sunnier um, aspect. What's this one? This one. These two here are cool. They're the white Marseille. Got these from like Lowe's or something. They don't look half as healthy as the others, do they? Uh, these are some more Italian honey. These are the Italian honeys that are from tissue cultures and they spread out and then is an Italian honey that is from a cutting and that's going a lot more erect anyway yeah I think I'm going to move these out into the sun today although you know they're doing good who knows main thing is for these figs two things one don't plant them in the ground directly leave them in the buckets chop the bottom of the bucket off that way the nematodes don't get them and two they don't like a lot of water but they also you know just work, wait for them if these start getting a bit they get a bit droopy or a bit really the soil's really dry then i then i water them look at that that's a little uh castor bean plant that's uh volunteered itself in there i have to take that out all right, there you go. There's a few of the different fruit varieties, and say the they seem to be f here in uh, Zone Nine B, fruiting all year, not uh, once a year, not twice a year, but just all year. Uh, so that's great, great news. I'm really enjoying these figs because when I first tasted them, I probably tasted them when they were not quite ripe, and uh, you let them get really ripe, and they're very tasty. And you can even leave them on the tree and they start to, if they don't split, sometimes they split, but um, 
leave them on there they sometimes even like shrivel up and then they're like a more like a date you know like a fig that you would have in a in a packet in, in a shop and they're very tasty too all right thanks a lot fruit lovers bye